<laughs> What's up, guys? Uh, coming to you from chilly, cold morning in colorful Colorado. Um, just stopped at Walmart, and they had a few different things. Um, I just did a mobile rip of the Tops update, and now I'm going to do archives. So these are your standard blaster box, your retail standard blaster boxes. Um, there's chance at autographs. Uh, pretty pretty low, but there's also short prints and other th fun things in there. But let's see if we can't defy the odds. So a nice Willie Mays, Mike Schmidt, nice Xander Bogarts foil, not numbered. Haven Smith rookie. I'm gonna find a spot for these without knocking them on the floorboard here. Nice Trevor Larnock, rookie. Nolan Ryan, big head Bryce Harper. There's a Esteban Floreal, tops big design. Like that a lot. Love the uh, retro designs getting thrown in here. Geraldo Perdomo, Perdomo, nice Ryan Mallet rookie. Mallet, oh my goodness. That was a football player. Ryan Mountcastle. <laughs> I don't know where my mind went on that one. That's what happens when you collect a ton of sports. All that stuff blends together. The names become, I guess, uh, not static. They become fluid. Nice Clark Schmidt rookie. Another Topps Big. Uh, JT Realmuto. I like that set. I might collect that. There are variations uh, in here, like the Toronto Blue Jays, it says Buffalo, and I've only pulled one of those out of the many boxes, even like regular hobby boxes, probably open 10 boxes, and I think I only have one. Nice Ken Griffey, Black Aces, Jesus Sanchez, down the last two packs of this box. I'm going to open the two, like I, my standard is to open two blasters when I do these breaks, just to make it a little bit more exciting. And I suppose up my chances of pulling something great. No luck so far. Let's see what we got on this one. Another nice uh, Topps Big Design. Carlos Correa. Alex Kirilov. Bazooka. I like those Shining Star um, cards from that set. All right. This is the lucky one. Both of the boxes themselves were set aside on the shelf as if someone was going to buy it. I'm always a sucker for that. Like, if anybody set up a retail display, all they'd have to do is damage a box or put it off to the side, and I'd be like, oh, I need to buy that. Has nothing to do with my own luck, maybe somebody else's luck. Where I'm like trying to get a <laughs> piggyback off their luck. George Brett. Bregman, Spencer Howard, Aaron Judge. Nice show. Hey, tops big. I like that a lot. There's also, um, I think all the mantles in this set are short prints. So if you ever pull those, be on the lookout for them. Um, there's also a father-son card with like Kevin Biggio. Uh, also, Vladimir Guerrero has it. Um, it just basically shows in a lot. I think in the little bubble shows their dads. Trevor Story. I hope the Rockies sign him again once they can sign people. Nice Christian Pache rookie. Evan White rookie. Two great prospects. I just dropped the cards, even though I said I wasn't going to. Bear with me, guys. I went right to the center console display. And if I don't grab them in time, they probably would go to the, the bottom of that. Which there's a ton of CDs in there and it would take forever to find. 
yes, I have CDs still in my car. This thing's got like a 10 disc changer and no need for MP3s currently. I mean, really it'd make it easier, but Andy Machado, Machado uh, tops big. I'm trying to talk before my mouth actually forms the words. Voight, Andres Mises, a nice Uncle Larry, Edward Oliveras, and Mickey Moniak rookies. Last two packs, hoping for short print or something cool on the insert front would be great, or an autograph. Nick Madrigal, another nice Top's big. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that set. Nice Casey Mai, Shining Star. Shout out to Lisa Z. It's nice Cronenworth, Crochet, Big Head, Alec Baum. And an Alan Tramwell. All right. So nothing too exciting, but... I guess I want to show off a standard Topps Archives 2021 rip. So didn't get to show you any of the short prints, uh, but keep an eye out for it. Go to Cardboard Connection and uh, you'll definitely be able to see which ones. I always use Cardboard Connection as a reference um, for every, even when I'm in a break, because I tell this to people a lot. Uh, don't trade for a team just because you want to trade for a team or with, with somebody. You need to see how many autographs or hits may be for that particular team. Like if you trade away, this is just a weird example, but say you trade away the Rockies for the athletics in Topps Archives in the hobby. There's more autographs of um, athletic players than there are of Rockies. So you're essentially trading away hits, which is tough. Um, there's certain people in the hobby that I would do that for just, just because, um, but a lot of times I just like to keep what I have just, just because no one seems to trade the opposite way with me. If I, if I'm like, Oh, I got the, I got the twins and I want to, I want to get the Yankees from somebody. They're not going to trade with me. So, be nice, you know, in the hobby, give people the, the players or teams that they want to try to get, but within reason, because at the end of the day, it's your money. All right. Take care, everyone. Love y'all. Merry Christmas.